Question 242 of Leak Code, valid anagram. So given two strings S and T, return true if T is an anagram of S and false otherwise. An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. So in the first example, we have anagram and nagaram, which returns true because if you see all the values within S are within T and there is no remaining values. Rat and car in the second example, is false because we have two letters in each which don't add up, right? The only thing that's similar between the two examples here is the A. So we could use some kind of sorting algorithm and sort them and then see if they're the same. That would work just fine. But what we're going to use instead is a hash table, also called a frequency map. And we're going to store the frequency. So we're going to loop through S and we're going to update our frequency map. So this is what the frequency map is going to look like. So we're going to have A, which is going to be pointing to three, right? because we've got one, two, three, N, which is pointing to one, G, which is pointing to one, R, which is pointing to one, and M, which is pointing to one. So we've created our frequency map. Now what we can do is we can loop through T and we can see if the letter at this position is found within the frequency map. And if it is, then we can subtract it from the frequency map. And then we move along, we can subtract it, we can move along, subtract it, we can move along, Subtract it. And then once this is complete, if we pass all the tests that we have in our for loop, checking the frequency map, then we can return true, right? But say we have an A here, we get to the A, this is gonna to go to minus one. So we need some additional logic, which is gonna say if, so if map at letter is less than one, just return false, or if it's undefined, return false. So the way this algorithm set out time complexity would be on, where we create the hash table. So we have to loop through each value within string in order to create the hash table. So that's gonna be of n times. So it's going to loop through the entire string, plus m, where m is looping through the entire t string. And then space complexity is o of n, because we're storing all the values of string s within our hash table, which we created. So firstly, before we add any code, we can take care of an edge case, right? So if s.length doesn't equal t.length, then it's not going to be a valid anagram because they're not the same length. Then we need to initialize a map. So our hash table, which is going to be an object. We need to loop through string s and we need to populate that map. So let's just declare letter as si. So we're grabbing each letter here if the map at letter doesn't exist, we're going to create it and set it equal to one. Else, map at the letter gets incremented. So if there's already a value within map at letter, then we just increment it by one. And this will give us the frequency map we're looking for. Okay, so the second part of this algorithm, we just need to loop through the second string a variable called letter will equal it to t at position i so the second string at position i to make this code a bit more readable then we need to carry out a few if clauses so if map at letter is undefined we can return false right because it's not found within the map so they aren't valid anagrams if map the letter is less than one we can return false because there's more of the same letter in one string than there is in the other. So return false and then map letter decrement. So if we pass the first two if statements, then we need to decrement from map at that letter's position. And if we pass all that throughout the entire for loop, we can return true because that will essentially be a valid anagram. Let's run this to see if it's worked. Okay, let's submit it. Okay, and there you have it. 